y'all welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day before we get into this video do not forget to subscribe do not forget to follow me on instagram and do not forget to click the little bell so you can be updated on when i post new videos all right so this episode of i now fix my life was all the episodes are heavy this episode was about a family experiencing loss lack of communication um, lack of trust, molestation, it's just a whole bunch of shit that happened within this family. So, Ayala meets with Keisha. Keisha is the mom of five kids. She has three daughters and two sons. So, Keisha came there because they experienced some stuff within their family that they never really dealt with, they never really talked about, and the issue was her son Terrell molested her youngest daughter Gabby now when he did it Terrell was 16 years well no I think he um it started I don't know how old he was when he started but Gabby was eight years old and um when the mom found out that week she found out that Terrell was dying basically he had sickle cell anemia oh so the mom talked about how she found out the way she found out was from her other daughter Kinesia basically Kinesia and Terrell were having a disagreement and Kinesia blurted it out in hopes to anger I guess anger Terrell but she blurted it out while the mom was there so that was the way the mom found out and um the mom said her instant reaction was to kill him because of what he did to the daughter. But she never called the cops. She never did anything because that week she found out that he was dying. So it kind of became a, I kind of took a tug of war, I guess, with her as what do you do when your child is dying, but your child is accused of doing something to your other child. Like I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but she said that she instantly she never asked him about it. She never talked to him. She never did anything like that. She instantly believed that he would do it because he himself was molested when he was younger. She never got the opportunity to mourn her son because she was angry at a predator. Basically, that's what that is. And like I said, I, don't, I can't fathom or understand what she was probably going through at that time because if it was me, God forbid, I don't... Because it's like you're choosing one child. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a hard situation to be in for a parent. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the shit is just crazy. But the fact that they never dealt with it. She never got to mourn her son. She never... Her daughter never seek therapy from what I'm seeing. I don't think she ever seek therapy for it. So it's like, this is something that happens so much within our community where shit happens where... A uncle or a brother or a father or whatever the case may be molest one of the kids in the in the household molest one of the kids in the family and family members know about this and they brush it under the rug not really thinking about the terminal damage that it does to these kids being molested and this person never gets punished for this crime it's something that is just always swept under the rug within the black community I don't know why I don't know why do we feel that we have to protect the predator and not think about the victim I don't really understand that shit but to me this is a situation like that but it's still a kind of crazy turn of events because here he was molesting the daughter but he's dying at the same time so one would think that was his faith. One would think that he started doing that because he knew that his time was up and he just didn't give a shit anymore. I don't really know. But it's a hard situation as a parent to figure out which child do you pick. Well, Ayala sits down with Alicia and Kinesia. And these are Gabby's older sisters. Kinesia always felt like she was the black sheep of the family. Like her family didn't really fuck with her. She felt like Gabby replaced her because Gabby is the baby. And I think Kinesia is probably the last... Before Gabby came, she was probably the last girl. So she felt like Gabby replaced her. Her mom was... Gabby was her mom's favorite. So she never really fucked with Gabby. She never really... I guess she never really protected Gabby as she should have. 
um, she found out that Gabby was being molested by the brother because Gabby told her. She said Gabby told her at the age of 11. Kenny still was 16 years old. And she said that she never told anybody. She never did. Ayala asked her why. She said that, well, her and her relationship with her mom isn't the best. The reason why it isn't the best because her mom... Her mom thought she was promiscuous growing up and she felt like she was having sex with a bunch of boys and will call her whole slut, bitch, whatever name in the book she will call her daughter that. So Kinesia didn't feel like her mom and her had a connection anymore. She felt like she was more favorable of Gabby. So Kinesia didn't tell her mother. Talk about um, the first time she had sex was involuntary. She was raped. She went to a friend's house to spend the night, I think, and a man, I don't know who the man was, but the man dragged her out the bed and raped her. And she said the friend pretended like she didn't know, but the friend did. So she's dealing with her own trauma as well. And this is, I always say this shit, pathology, it, it transfers from one person in the family to another and it's just a cycle that keeps going. So Ayala talks to Alicia. Alicia is the oldest daughter. Alicia wasn't really there when all of that shit happened and she's really pissed at her brother. She felt like her brother should have gone to jail even though he was terminally ill. Um, she was upset with her mother. She was upset with everybody because no one protected Gabby. I think she's kind of upset with herself as well because she is the older sibling. And me being the older sibling, I know once I moved away at 21, I wasn't really as close with my siblings anymore because I was away. I was doing my thing. I was doing me. And I wasn't really reaching out to them to see you know, I would talk to them, but I wasn't really, really reaching out to see if they were okay. And I think that's what she's dealing with, that she kind of didn't know anything was going on because she didn't know that he molested the sister until six months after he died. She didn't even know. So, Alisa said that she noticed that Gabby started exhibiting anger issues, that she wasn't herself. And that happens a lot, even if it happens to you as a child or as an adult. Um, you you change and people around you notice the change. Um, I don't want to talk about it, but a situation happened to me where people notice the change. My family noticed the change. My friends noticed the change. And I didn't tell people what was going on. But people definitely noticed that something was wrong. Something was different. I was not the type of person that I was anymore so it's, it's something that you you do show even though you're trying to cover up what happened or the anger or the pain or whatever the case may be it's you start exhibiting exhibiting it in other ways so I think that's what Gabby started to do just I'm not listening with Gabby she sat with Gabby Gabby's 21 she has two kids and Gabby said, you know, I don't have any friends. I don't trust people. I don't know how to trust people. Because the one person that she trusted, her brother, just basically ruined that trust. And she said that he would threaten her. Said he would tell if she told the mother wouldn't love her anymore. The mother wouldn't be, you know, close with her anymore. So that is a habit that predators do. They take the people closest to you and basically tell you that you know if you tell I will harm this person so I found it interesting that um Gabby when Gabby sat down with Ayala she said that she told Kinesia when she was eight years old even though Kinesia said she was Gabby was 11 when she told her so it's a lack of communication and a lack of understanding and these people are in the same situation but viewing things differently and that is a form of lack of communication so she said yeah she told her sister because she her sister was she viewed her sister as her friend even though Kinesia said you know she felt like Gabby replaced her I feel like her telling Kinesia was a way of her sister protecting her but Kinesia because of her I won't say disdain towards Gabby but the fact that she felt like Gabby was there to replace her, she didn't really care what was going on with her sister. So, Kinesia, to me, Kinesia is one of the ones in this family that has the bigger issue. I mean, Gabby, we understand Gabby's issue, but Kinesia has just deep-rooted issues that no one 
a dress before this time. Okay, so Ayanna sits down with all four women and basically wanted to teach them communication exercises. So, um, the strangest fucking scene where a siren just went off and all these people in trench coats, hats, and shades just ran through the room and then they ran out the room. And I was like, what the fuck? I, I, I didn't understand what was going on, but that was an exercise where Ayala wanted these women to write down what they saw. And everybody wrote down what they saw and everybody's experience was different. Some said there was two men, one woman. Some said there was all men. Some said there was one woman, two men, two men, one woman, whatever the case may be. So even though everybody had a shared experience, they all viewed it differently. These people just do not know how to communicate with each other. It's very evident. Alicia, to me, she looks like she just did not want to be there. Kinesia, she is has always been so guarded. You can tell when she's around her, her mom and her sisters. She does not look happy at all. She don't want to be there. She don't want to talk about nothing. It was painful to even watch some of those scenes with her because she just, she just seems so secluded within herself that she don't even want to open up or even when she opened up she don't even want to talk to these people so i want to ask kinesia why didn't she ever tell the mother and kinesia said well you know she never really told because terrell was her best friend they were closer in age they grew up like this so she never told because she was close to him so Ayala made a, a good point that saying that Gabby told you because you were closer to him because you probably could have stopped it. She said that she stopped it by blurting it out in the argument. Ayala didn't make the reference that you didn't do it to stop him. You did it to hurt your mother. But um, Ayala went ahead and set up a like memorial of Terrell and she wanted everybody to speak to Terrell. So Gabby went ahead and spoke and she basically said, I don't understand why you did that to me. I don't get why you would make me feel that kind of way, but I forgive you and I love you because you are my brother. And she got to Kinesia and Kinesia said that you are my, you are my best friend and I just don't understand why you would do that to her, but I still love you. Which was all well and good. Then it got to the mom. And the mom was bawling and everything like that. Now Yala make a good... She made a good point. Well, it wasn't this scene. But she made a good point when she said... The reason why the kids don't tell you stuff to the mother. Is because you... She tends to make everything about her. They tell her something and she just starts bawling and screaming. And she projects it on herself. Because the mom too was molested growing up as well. So that was probably another reason why she did not um, instantly ask him if he did anything because I think she was reverting back to her childhood. But Ayanna said, this is the reason why they don't tell you nothing because you, to me, you make everything about you, not about your children, not about the situation. You make it about you and how you felt at that moment when it happened to you. So the mom still has some underlying issues that she needs to take care of, but the mom was upset with him but she you know she said that she forgave him and you know they all said they forgave him Alicia didn't really say anything that was actually tell within itself because I'm like okay if Alicia isn't participating or isn't really speaking why is she there why is she there why is she there is she, I mean she don't need to be there in my opinion because she they really didn't talk to her like that. It was more about Gabby, Kinesi, and the mom. So why was she there? I don't really know. But she never spoke to Terrell. If she did, they never aired it. Ayanna said that it is okay to... Understanding what he did does not change that you still love him as your son, as your brother. So it ended there. She gave them the tools to communicate better with each other. From the update, everybody is trying their best to communicate better in healing and Gabby said that she's still trying to heal and she hasn't really forgiven her brother but she is trying her best to 
to heal from the situation. And I think all of them need counseling. And I know a lot of people get on Ayala about she's not fixing people. Ayala gives you the tools and it's up to you to implement those tools. If you don't implement them, you can't really expect change. It was it was a very heavy episode, very heavy episode. Next episode is with Sharice from Real Housewives of Potomac. So I am interested to see that because I do not think Sharice is. I don't trust her. I don't like her. I just don't like her. But it's interesting to see what she talks about with her ex-husband and everything. So we're going to see that. Um, Alright guys, so let's have a discussion. I want to know this. This is something that I'm struggling with. I don't know if I can do this. But I want to know what you guys think. So, do you think you can love your abuser if that abuser is a member of your family? Me, if I was Gabby, I don't think I could. I think I will forgive you because I need to forgive for myself. But I don't think I will fuck with you in any kind of capacity, anything like that. So, I don't know if I'm just cold-hearted, bitch. I don't really know. Probably am. Let me know. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know how you like this episode. So do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.